we are going to give people a little time to get started on our live session. And so while we wait for everybody to join, I'd like to know where you are from. So please type in the chat where you are from. My name is Tudor Nicole and I'm from the United States. Where are you from? Hi from Pakistan. Hi from USA. Hi from Spain. Hi from Japan. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Hi from Nigeria, Saudi Arabia, France, Japan, Sri Lanka. Very cool. Hi from Somalia. Hi from Czech Republic and Romania, Pakistan, Nepal. We have students from all over today. This is awesome. Hi from Turkey. Welcome. Hi from Slovakia. Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon. Good evening. Thank you for joining the Cambly Live session. I'm just gonna give us a few more minutes to get signed in. Again, my name is Tudor Nicole, and I will be your tutor today. And we will be talking all about shopping, my favorite thing. <laughs> Hello from Korea, Brazil, India. Hi from Bangladesh. All right, as we're signing in, please, Type in the chat where you are from, and if you can see and hear me okay. Good evening. All right, it looks like everyone can see and hear me okay. I love seeing where everybody is from. I'm so happy that Cambly was able to bring us together on this Sunday. Um, I am very excited to be your tutor today. So we will go ahead and get started. Um, so for those of you who are new to this Cambly live stream, we do Cambly live streams every Sunday at two o'clock central time and um, today we're going to be talking about shopping. Again, back to Cambly. If you don't know what it is, it is an online English learning platform where you get to, um, paired with native speakers to practice on anything under the sun, on reading, writing, speaking, conversation. Um, I am a very big fan of Cambly and I'm really happy to be here with you all today. So. Um, our session, this is how it's going to look like today. I'm going to go over some of our new vocab words and expressions that we would use while we're shopping. And then we're going to do some role play. So what that is, is we're going to act. I'm going to be the employee of a store and you will be the shoppers. So don't be hesitant. Make sure you're typing in the chat and following along with us. Okay? Wonderful. So today we're going to start by practicing with our vocabulary. So whenever you need a reference, I have a list of two vocabulary lists behind me and a list of common expressions that you would use during shopping. Okay, so let's start with vocabulary. Please feel free to type the words that I'm saying to practice spelling them. You can write them down and you can also practice saying them out loud, okay? And also maybe you could use them in an example. So for example, our first vocab word is payment. Payment, you can practice by writing this down, typing it or saying this out loud. Payment is where you exchange money for an item while you're shopping. A type of payment could be credit card, debit card, cash, or money. Okay, and that brings us to cash or money. This is, for example, US dollars, 
there's euros, there's pesos. Good. I really like how we are spelling it and practicing it. Very good job. Um, so yes, cash or money. This would be paper cash or money or coins to buy something. Okay, so that's our second vocab word. We also have something called valuable. Okay, so valuable is something that is worth a lot or it could just be an item. So for example, this water bottle is my valuable, okay? Or maybe it is very valuable because it's really important to me. I like that um, someone typed in that this lesson is valuable, it's worthwhile, it's great. Um, that's a really great example, awesome. Our next word is sizes. You could also say size, um, but when you're shopping, especially for clothes or shoes, you always want to ask about the size, okay? So you might have an employee ask you, what size are you looking for? Here are the sizes that we have in these pants. And you'll notice that the sizes change a lot based on what country you're in. Um, the next word is return. Return. So when you buy an item and you don't love it, <laughs> a lot of people will want to make a return. So for example, yesterday I bought shoes and I thought I liked the shoes, but when I took them home, they were very uncomfortable. And so the next day I went to the store and I made a return. I went up to the customer service desk and I said, can I please make a return? I brought a receipt and the shoes and they gave me back my money. Okay, so that is a return. Um, a verb for this would be to make a return. So you could go up to an employee and you could say, can I please make a return? I don't like these shoes. Okay, I would like you to type in the chat an example of to make a return. Good, I like this example. Someone said, when I don't like the product and I want to return it, I go to the store. Good. The shop is happy when you bring something to return. Good, excellent. The next word is an adjective, it describes certain shoppers. And I think a lot of us could say that we are picky. Picky describes someone who has a lot of trouble buying something because there are so many options and they know what they like and they can't find it. So for example, if there are 50 shirts and you look through the 50 shirts and you can't find one that you like, someone would describe you as picky, okay? <laughs> so you could tie this with to make a return and you could say, I need to make a return because my husband is too picky and didn't like the shirt I bought him. Good. So picky is a very common word you will see when you go shopping, okay? A lot of people are picky. <laughs> and it's good to be picky, it's not a bad thing. Because that means you get the thing that you really, really want, okay? Next word we have is budget. For example, a budget could be for a house, it could be um, for the grocery store. People make weekly budgets, they make monthly budgets. It is how much you can afford to spend. For example, my monthly budget for the grocery store would be $200. So I can spend up to $200 at the grocery store a month, okay? You could also have a budget maybe for a wedding. Let's say you wanna have a wedding this summer. You have to make a budget of $20,000, so you cannot go above that 
because you don't have the money to spend on the wedding, okay? So that would be a budget. I really like someone's example. They said the dress is nice, but it does not suit my budget. It is out of my budget. Good. Someone said my wife always gives me a very small budget. Yes, that is out of my budget. Very good job, yes. <laughs> the next word is cheap, okay? We have cheap. We could also use bargain. So cheap is when something does not cost a lot of money. It is not expensive. For example, I went to the store yesterday and there were two pairs of shoes. One was $50 and one was $5. So the $5 pairs of shoes would be cheap, okay? Or the, the um, tickets were very cheap. They were a great deal. Okay, so a deal is when you find something that is not expensive. It is very cheap. It's a great deal. Okay? I am loving our examples. You guys are doing great. I love these sentences. Good. Yeah, so street food is pretty cheap. It's a good deal. I love it. Yeah, and you can also say cheaper. So someone said the skirt is cheaper than the other one. Good. Next word we have is coupon. Coupons are my favorite thing. It's what makes you get a great deal. Okay, so if you have a coupon, for example, let's say this is my coupon. The coupon could be $5 off when you spend $50. It could be 15% off the entire store. Okay, so a coupon makes you save money and it gives you a great deal. You can find coupons online. You can find them in a magazine or in the newspaper. And a lot of stores have coupon books that you can go through. Someone used a really great word here, and they said bargain hunter. This is true. People who love coupons and deals and getting things for cheap are often described as bargain hunters. Okay? Awesome. Next one we have is price range. Price range can go along with budget. Okay, so a price range, so budget, that is the maximum amount of money you would spend. Price range, it could be like a scale. I would spend this little or this much. So let's say you're looking for a shirt and you wanna spend $20 maximum. That's as much as you will pay, but you don't want it to be too cheap because maybe it won't be high quality. So you wanna stay between 10 and $20. That would be your price range. And let's say an employee comes up to you and shows you this $30 shirt. You could say, I'm sorry, but that is out of my price range. Okay? Wonderful. Yes, great examples. Okay, we have a few more vocabs to, vocab words to go through and then we will get on to our scenarios. So the next one, one of my favorites, is to have something in mind. So this is something you could say as a shopper or an employee. Um, I'll show you an example of how this could be used, okay? So let's say you're going shopping for a pair of shoes. The salesperson comes up to you and say, hey, how are you doing? What do you have in mind today? And then you could say, I had a pair of shoes in mind. Could you help me find those? Okay. Wonderful job. To have something in mind. Next, this is called the lost and found. The lost and found is where you go when you're shopping or maybe you're at the museum, anywhere, and you lose an item. Let's say I lose my phone 
and I can't find it. You can go to an area called the Lost and Found, and you can pick up your item, okay? So Lost and Found is where you find your lost items, okay? So find lost items, lost and found, okay? Uh, the next word is to be in stock. So to be in stock means that an item, there are a lot, at least one or more of that item in the store. So for example, let's say you want to buy a water bottle. You could ask the employee, do you have water bottles in stock? That means do you have water bottles that I can buy? Okay, so that is to be in stock. And we have our last vocabulary word, and that is color scheme. So color scheme describes, obviously, like a color being the same or maybe being a little different. So an example for color scheme, let's say you're going to a wedding and you need to buy an outfit for the wedding. A lot of the times they will tell you to wear a certain color scheme. So let's say everybody is wearing a color of blue. You could go to the store and say the color scheme for the wedding is blue, okay? And can you help me find something in that color scheme? All right, how do we feel about the vocabulary? Pretty good. So those of us who are just now joining, do not worry, after this live is over, you can go back to the YouTube channel and watch the live again. Okay, so do not worry if you're just now joining, you can watch the video again. Okay, so we just learned a lot of vocabulary. Um, I hope that we have these written down. I was really proud of our examples and spelling while I was going through those. Now we're gonna practice with our vocabulary by going over a few scenarios. Okay, so we're gonna play a little game and I'm gonna give us a scenario, okay? And you have to determine what would you say. Okay, so you are the shoppers. You're coming shopping at my store and I'm the employee, okay? And you're gonna type in the chat what you think you should say in these scenarios. Okay, so we're acting. Please type these out. You can also practice saying them out loud. And you guys are gonna do great, okay? Um, so first I'm gonna tell you the scenario. So the first scenario, I'm gonna tell you where our location is and who the characters are. So we are at the lost and found. Remember, this is where you find your lost items, okay? So pretend you lost an important item at a store. Visit the information desk, I'll be the employee, and report the item missing. Describe the item to the employee. Okay, so you have to think of what item you lost, and I'm gonna be, and we have to talk about the item that you lost, okay? Um, before we begin, I do wanna give us a few expressions that we could use. Um, so first we could say something like, do you have a lost and found? I lost or can't find my blank. The last time I saw it was, and I'll give you my phone number, okay? So let's get started. We're gonna get in our acting modes, okay? I'm the employee, I'm employee Nicole, and you are the shoppers, okay? So this is what the script is gonna look like. Wherever see, you see a star is where you are going to type your response, okay? So, hi, how may I help you today? How may I help you today? Okay, and as the shopper, I want you to say how I could help you. Remember, we are at the lost and found. Good. So someone said, I have lost my bags at your shop. Okay, so maybe we could describe those bags. What do they look like? 
I lost my hat. Can you help me find it? Do you have a lost and found? I love that. Okay, do you have a lost and found? Can you help me? I lost my iPhone in the store. Good. Awesome. Okay, so first we want to be like, hey, do you have a lost and found? Just to make sure. Good. So I'm going to say, okay, yes, we have a lost and found. Come this way. And I will say, can you please describe the item? Okay, so we're at the lost and found, and now you have to describe the item. Okay. So we're on number two. Okay, so someone said, I lost my wallet. Could you describe that wallet? What does it look like? How big is it? What could I find in the wallet? Okay, I lost my phone. It's a blue iPhone. That's a great description. Okay, good. Maybe you could say, I lost my pink water bottle. It's skinny and has peaches on it. Okay, that would be a good description. Wonderful job. Okay, so you described the item. And then I'm going to ask you, when is the last time you saw it? So let's say it was that wallet. You lost that wallet. When was the last time you saw it? Where were you in the store? Okay, and you're going to respond. Okay, so when is the last time you saw it? Because maybe it's not in the store. Maybe you could say, I was in the store yesterday and I lost it in the bathroom. I like this example. It was this Wednesday at two o'clock, so that's a specific time. Okay. Okay, I lost it right before I went to the changing room to try something on. Good, and so this gives the employee an idea of where that item could be. Awesome. You guys are doing so good. Good job. Um, and so maybe let's say, I say, okay, thank you for the information. I'll keep an eye on it. So I'll be on the lookout for it. What could you say? How do I tell you that I have found your item? Maybe you could leave your phone number or your email. So how could you let me contact you? Let's see an example. Okay. I'll keep an eye on it. What would you say? Okay, I like this example. Someone said, um, you can contact me on my phone. Here's my phone number and then give your phone number. Um, you could say contact me on my email and give them a piece of paper. Good job. And then you can even end by saying, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Okay, so I appreciate your help. Thank you. Okay. You guys did such a great job on our first scenario. Nice work. Okay. Um, so we're actually going to move on to scenario number two. That one was pretty fun. We're going to do another one. Um, so now, instead of the lost and bound, now we are at the bike shop. You're the shopper. I'm the employee. Okay. So we're at the bike shop. Um, so you're six-year-old, so let's say you're a parent and you have a six-year-old child and they are ready for their first two-wheel bike. Tell the salesperson what kind of bike your child wants. Okay, so you're shopping for a bike for your six-year-old child and you have to tell me exactly what your child wants. We're gonna go over some useful expressions before we start. Um, so some 
good expressions we could use for this are things like, it has to be the right size, he or she wants blank, or what's the price on that one? Okay, remember we can also use our vocab words like price range, budget, okay? So I am the employee, but you're actually gonna start. Okay, so how could you approach me? If you're looking for a bike for your child, how could you come up to me and ask for my help? Okay, so yes, you could come up to me and you could say, my child wants a colorful bike. You could also say, hello, I'm looking for a bicycle for my six-year-old kid. Awesome. Okay, that's very to the point, very direct. Hello, ma'am, I'm looking for a specific bike for my child. Maybe you could say, could you please help me? Yeah, awesome. Good job. Um, and so let's say, I say, I'd be happy to help. What exactly are you looking for today? And you respond, I'm looking for blank. Remember, we're looking for a specific bike for your six-year-old child. So how can you describe what bike your child wants? Good. You could say, I'm looking for a bicycle for my son. She wants a blue bike and my price range is to $40. I'm looking for a two-wheel bike for my little son. Good. Yeah, and maybe you could talk about what color he wants, maybe if he wants a design, and it's really important to mention the price range. So maybe I'm looking for a bike from $20 to $60, okay? Or my budget is $60. Awesome, okay? So you say that and I say, let's say I bring up this beautiful bike and it's blue and I say, how do you like this one? What could you say? How do you like this one? How do you like this one? Okay, so what can you say back to me? Actually, he wants a green colored bike. Yeah, you could also say, oh wow, but my price range is up to $70 and this is $90. Good job. It's beautiful. I'll ask my son, do you like it? That's great. Awesome job. <laughs> Maybe you could say, that's not the color scheme I was looking for. Okay, you guys, great examples, I love it. All right, so now I say, that sounds great. Can I help you with anything else? And then maybe you could say, yes, let's get it, or no. Thank you for your time. Okay, so you can really say anything back to me here. No, thank you. Okay, wonderful. This is great, but can you show us the same one in the color green? Awesome. Actually, it's kind of out of my budget. Oh, can I take a picture and send it to her to make sure she likes it? These are really, really great. Oh, I like this one too. I will discuss with my wife and get back to you. 
Good. Do you have anything a little cheaper? Awesome job, you guys. I'm so proud of you. Good. Okay, so we are going to do just one more scenario. I hope you are liking them so far. We're just gonna do one more. And this time we are at a fancy clothing store. Okay, so remember I'm the employee, you're the shopper. And we are at the fancy clothing store, okay? So everything is going to be very expensive. Okay, so this is the scenario. Your best friend asked you to be in his or her wedding. You have to find the perfect dress or suit. Your best friend is picky, okay? They're very picky. So please help me find a dress or a suit in an expensive and fancy clothing store. Before we start, I do wanna go over a few expressions. Um, so we could say something like, I have a wedding coming up. Could you please help me look for, I don't think blank will like that because they're picky. <laughs> and I'm thinking something a little more or less formal. Okay, so again, you're the shopper, I'm the employee, and we are at a fancy clothing store. Okay, are you guys ready? Let's get into it. So, I'm the employee and I say, hi, how may I help you today? Remember, you're going to a friend's wedding, and you need something fancy to wear. What could you say for number one? What could you say for number one? Okay, and remember picky means that they don't like a lot of things, okay? So your friend doesn't like a lot of things, and so it's gonna be really hard to find something they like. Oh, awesome. Okay, someone said, I need a pink schemed dress for the wedding. Okay, so you're using the words color scheme, and you're describing what you need, and for the special occasion, which is the wedding. You could say, could you please help me find a tuxedo? Hi, my friend has a wedding this week. I'm looking for an elegant dress for a summer wedding. Um, you could also say, I'm looking for a dress for my best friend's wedding, and it has a tight budget. Type budget means you need something cheap but fancy. Yeah. Okay, and a, a synonym for picky would be choosy. That's good. Awesome. Okay, so we told uh, the employee what we're looking for, and I say, no problem. What do you think about this one? So let's say you asked for a dress or a tuxedo. I give you this one, and I say, what do you think about this one? Let's pretend that it's a blue dress. What do you think about this one? And remember, they're picky. And so you respond, um, it's too blank. Maybe you could say it's too expensive. It's too blue. It's not in the color scheme. Okay. Um, it's too expensive. <laughs> you could also just say, my friend is too picky. I decided not to go to his wedding. <laughs> Good. It's too short. Yeah, maybe the dress is too short and you want it to look fancier. Okay. Okay. It's too cheap. I don't think she'll be impressed. 
Okay, maybe it's too expensive and it needs to be black. Okay. Okay. It's too cheap and it needs to be elegant. Awesome job. It's too big. Do you have different sizes? Awesome. Okay. Um, and so I will say, so what exactly are you looking for? What exactly are you looking for? And here you're going to be very detailed. I am looking for blank. I am looking for blank. Very good. Okay. So I am looking for something within my budget. My price range is forty to one hundred dollars. Good. I am looking for a fancy black dress. Very good. So we're on number three. I am looking for blank. Okay, good job. Um, and so I'm gonna say, I see, follow me. Let's try on these. Okay, so I give you a few options and I say, let's try these on. And so then I say, so what do you think? What do you think about the ones you tried on? And you say, I'm thinking something more. I'm thinking something more. So for those of you who are just now joining, we are doing some scenarios. So I am the employee. You are the shopper, and you are just filling in the blank where you see these stars and the numbers. That's where you talk as the customer. Okay, so actually, I'm looking for something that looks fancy but cheaper than the one at the same time. Good. I'm looking for something with a more simple design. Wonderful. Okay, good job. And so I say, okay, what about this one? And you say, it's perfect, thanks. And I say, great, follow me this way. How will you be paying today? Okay, so what is your payment going to be? Remember, we have the following options. We have cash, credit card, debit card. What is your payment? Okay, how will you be paying today? Remember, we're on number five. How will you be paying today? Okay, I'll pay by cash. I will pay you with my credit card. Ooh, I like this. Do you take cash? Okay, so we need to know if they take cash. Okay, by credit card, here you are. I'm paying in cash. Can I pay you by credit card? Wonderful. That sounds perfect. I'd like to pay through debit card. Awesome. Virtual high five. Okay, so let's say that you pay. And I just say, thank you, have a great day. And you can say whatever you want back. Okay, so thank you, have a great day. Awesome. <laughs> Good job. Okay. Now, we are going to do something a little different. So now that we did our scenarios, and we did our vocabulary. We're just gonna end this session by practicing some sentences. So I'm going to give you a word and I want you to use it in a sentence, okay? And I really want you to try to focus on the shopping theme. Okay, so if I give you the word picky, maybe you could use the word picky in a shopping context, okay? 
So use picky in a sentence. Make sure you type them in the chat and I can read them out loud. Um, I will share my example for you so maybe you can get some inspiration. My example is I'm shopping for my boyfriend, but he is very picky. Okay, so it might make shopping a little hard because he's choosy, he's picky. Okay, good. I am searching for a blue dress, but my friend is very picky. Okay. I'm picky and I don't like fruit and vegetables. <laughs> All the dresses in the store are not that pretty, but I'm pretty picky. My boss is picky when it comes to dresses. Okay. My daughter is really picky. She doesn't like anything. Awesome. Good job. Our next word is budget. So we talked about this earlier. Remember, a budget is how much you can spend for something. Okay? So use the word budget in a sentence. My examples are, I'm on a tight budget. That means you can't spend a lot of money. Okay, so I'm on a tight budget. Or thanks, but it's not in my budget. So let's say a friend asks you to go to get dinner and drinks. You could say, thanks, I'm sorry, but it's not in my budget. Okay, or it's out of my budget. I really wanted to buy this dress, but it's but I'm on a tight budget. Good. This car is out of my budget. <laughs> the worst thing is when you have a small budget and you're very picky. <laughs> Good. My husband sees what I spend because he likes to take care of our budget. That's great. Our monthly budget for groceries is $100. I'm on a tight budget this week. Good. Nice work. Uh, we're going to do a few more. The next word is coupon. So please use the word coupon in a sentence. Coupon. I do have some examples if you would like some inspiration. My first one is I have a coupon for 15% off t-shirts. Can I please use my coupon for that? Good. Coupon. I really love coupons because I'm on a tight budget and it saves me a lot of money. Okay. Yes, coupons reduce the cost. There is a TV show called Extreme Couponers. Okay, this is a very famous TV show here in America. And it's people that love to use coupons and get a good discount. And so they could go to the grocery store and buy $500 worth of things, but they use like 500 coupons and maybe only pay $1. Okay, so Extreme Couponers is a really great show. Good job. Nice work. I love our examples. Okay, um, let's just do two more. Okay, um, so I would like to see us use price range in a sentence. Price range, you can think it's very similar to budget, but price range is a minimum to maximum. That's the price range. Okay, my examples are, that's way out of my price range. 
or that's below or above our price range. So let's say you're going shopping for a house and you want to buy a $200,000 house and your realtor shows you a $50,000 house. You could say that is below our price range. If they show you a million dollar house, you could say that's way above our price range. Okay, so price range. My price range is between $200 to $300. Excellent. Good. I'm really loving our examples today. Good job. Okay. I am looking for a cell phone within the price range of $200 to $400. <laughs> I would love to buy this Lamborghini, but my price range for cars is $1,000 to $5,000. Okay, good. Okay, so we're going to do just one more, and then that will be the end of our, our live session. And that is to have something in mind. Okay, so use have something in mind in a sentence. Have something in mind. My examples are, Miss, do you have something in mind? Do you have something in mind? Or, thank you, but that's simply not what I had in mind. Okay, so let's say you have in your mind, you want a blue dress, and they show you a green dress. You would say, thanks, but that's not what I had in mind. Okay. Yeah. Do you have something in mind that you want to tell me? Good. Ooh, did you have anything in mind for Helen's present? That's exactly what I had in mind. Um, so I had another dress design in mind. Good. Okay, so that's when you are thinking about something is to have in mind. Good job. Okay. Um, well, students, you all did so great today. Thank you for your participation. I loved seeing all your sentences, and it was really fun um, acting with you guys, being the employees and the shoppers. You all came up with some really creative and great sentences, so thank you. Um, I hope that you guys can join us on Sundays. Remember, Cambly has a Cambly Live every single Sunday. If you missed this session or if we have a playlist on our YouTube channel for our lives and you can go back and rewatch our session today. Um, so for those of you who are new to Cambly, you um, don't forget this is an online English learning platform. You can come and practice your English with native English speakers. And today we do have a promo code. Um, and so if you would like to join Cambly, you're just going to go and type in go live as your promo code and you can get up to 36% off yearly subscriptions. Okay, so make sure that you type in this go live for up to 36% off lives, um, yearly subscriptions or you could just click the link in the description. Okay. So down below in the description, you could make a reservation with me, Tudor Nicole, or you could get a yearly subscription with our discount code. Okay. This could also be known as a vocab word we learned earlier, coupon. Okay. I had so much fun with you guys today. Thank you again for joining and have a wonderful rest of your day. Okay. Bye.